Hi friends, welcome back to our chapter reading. We are continuing today with The Case of the Weird Blue Chicken, The Next Misadventure, written by Doreen Cronin and illustrated by Kevin Cornell. We're jumping into chapter four. The little blue bird took a deep breath. I have a really big problem. Dirt and Sugar exchanged glances. What is it, Weird Blue Chicken? asked Sugar. What seems to be your problem? It's a bird, answered the little bird. What does it look like, asked Dirt. He's six feet tall, answered the bird. Are you sure about that, asked Sugar. Yes, I'm sure, answered the bird. Birds don't come in that size, said Sugar. You must have had a bad dream. I can't help you if your problem is a big bird bad dream. Dirt looked weird blue chicken up and down. How tall are you? She asked. I'm about four feet tall, answered the little bird. Ah, I see, said Dirt kindly. I think you're confusing inches with feet. It's a common mistake. You're about four inches tall. The little bird shrugged. Sugar rolled her eyes. What else can you tell me about the bird? Asked Dirt. He's yellow, answered the bird. Can you be more specific, ma'am? Asked Dirt. For example, I'm kind of a canary yellow. Sugar's kind of a dandelion yellow. Let me get my crayon box. Pipe down, said Sugar. Let the chicken talk. The little bird said nothing. Back to this other bird, said Sugar. Her voice was serious. You said he was in some kind of trouble. No, said the little bird. He is the trouble. Well, that's odd, said Sugar. Birds don't usually cause trouble. Actually, birds cause trouble all the time, said Dirt. Hmm, I wonder what kind of trouble a bird could cause. Pipe down, said Sugar. Let the chicken talk. The little bird still said nothing. What exactly do you think this bird did? Asked Dirt, using her kindest voice. He kidnapped my house. That is a very serious accusation, weird blue chicken, said Sugar. What kind of proof do you have? He's sitting in my house and he won't leave, answered the little bird. House kidnapping is kind of an awkward phrase, said Dirt. I think we should call it house napping. Pipe down, said Sugar. Let the chicken talk. The little bird said nothing. What makes you so sure it's a bird, said Sugar. I know a bird when I see one, said the little bird. You don't know an inch when you see one, said Sugar. How can I be sure you know what a bird looks like? Uh-oh. You see another bird in the bluebird's house? I do. How do you know he won't leave, asked Dirt. I asked him to leave, said the little bird, and he said no. Interesting, said Sugar. She went to the door and tucked her wings behind her back. She was deep in thought. After 73 seconds of silence, she made an observation in her notebook. Have been standing here a long time. Should turn around. She turned to face the little bird. I know what you need, declared Sugar. I need that bird out of my house, said the little bird. No, said Sugar. You need the chicken squad. Can the chicken squad get that little bird out of my house? asked the little bird. I have absolutely no idea, ma'am, answered Dirt. No idea at all. Today is your lucky day, announced Sugar. The chicken squad will take your case. It will be dangerous, it will be hard, and it will require your full cooperation. Do you understand? Yes, said the little bird. Good, said Sugar. Now please go. She leaned in close to the little bird and whispered, stay low, keep your head down, walk only in the shadows, don't attract any attention. Don't tell anyone we spoke and tweet three times when the coast is clear. I usually just fly away, said the little bird. That's fine too, said Sugar. <laughs> Chapter five. We forgot to ask her where she lives, said Dirt. Sugar was pacing back and forth in the coop. We're going to follow her, said Sugar. Why didn't we just go with her, asked Dirt. 
I don't trust her, said Sugar. This is a view from the top of the chicken coop looking down. So there's the shoe on the floor and there's the little heads. Why not? Asked Dirt. Never trust a weird blue chicken, said Sugar. She shook her head. You got a lot to learn, little sis. It's a tough world out there. Nothing is as it seems. I'm pretty sure she's a blue jay, said Dirt. Not a weird blue chicken. Pipe down, said Sugar. Let the chicken talk. Um, she's not here anymore, said Dirt. Right, said Sugar. Come on, let's go. I don't want to lose her trail. What should I do? Asked Sweetie. Stay in this shoe, said Sugar, in case another client comes in. Got it, said Sweetie. A moment later, she asked, what should I do if another client does come in? Tell them to make an appointment, said Sugar, then get back in the shoe. Got it, said Sweetie. Sugar and Dirt walked side by side. They made a left turn, staying close to the shadows. Then they made another left turn. They walked single file against the back wall. They made another left turn. Now what? asked Dirt. Turn left, said Sugar. They turned left. We're right back where we started, said Dirt. Exactly, said Sugar. Look behind you. Dirt looked over her shoulder. Uh, I don't see anything, said Dirt. Exactly, said Sugar. Now we know we're not being followed. Wow, said Dirt. That was really smart. Stick with me, kid, said Sugar. I know how the world works. Can I come with you guys? Dirt and Sugar turned around to find the little blue bird right behind them. Weird blue chicken, where did you come from? Asked Sugar. I followed you, said the little bird. How? Asked Sugar. I stayed low, kept my head down, walked only in the shadows, and didn't attract any attention. A slow smile spread across Sugar's face. You're a fast learner. But why did you follow us? Asked Dirt. Because I don't trust you, said the little bird. Never trust a small yellow bird with glasses. You've got a lot to learn, kid. I like the way you think, weird blue chicken, said Sugar. Hmm. That blue bird sounds an awful lot like Sugar, doesn't she? Chapter six, Sugar, Dirt, and the Little Blue Bird tiptoed across the yard. They stopped in the middle of the lawn and waited for the sprinkler to switch to the other side. It's right back here, said the Little Blue Bird. It's the oak tree. I call her Duncan. You named your tree? asked Sugar. Of course, said the Little Blue Bird. Never trust a bird who doesn't name her tree. Of course, said Dirt. I told you she was weird, whispered Sugar. The oak tree was the tallest tree in the yard. With the thick leaves of summer, it looked like a solid wall of green. It was impossible to see anything hiding behind it. Where's your nest? asked Dirt. I don't have a nest, said the little bird. I have a house. A little strange, don't you think? asked Sugar. Birds are supposed to build nests, not live in houses. Do you live in a nest? asked the little blue bird. Of course not, said Sugar. I'm a chicken. I live in a chicken coop. And I'm a bird, said the little bird, so I live in a birdhouse. You've got me there, weird blue chicken, said Sugar. I don't see it, said Dirt. I don't see your house. The little bird hopped from place to place on the ground below the tree. It should be right up there, she said. This is where it's always been, about seven inches off the ground. It's red, it has a hole in the middle for a door, and a beautiful slanted green roof. It's about eight feet high and four feet wide. Dirt pulled out a sketch pad and a box of crayons from behind her back. Somebody get this kid a ruler, said Sugar. Her house would be very big if it was eight feet and four feet. It's okay, said Dirt. I know she means eight inches high and four inches wide, and it's about seven feet off the ground. Sugar walked around the base of the tree. 
I don't see it, ma'am, she said. I'm starting to think you dragged us all out here for nothing. Dirt turned her sketch pad around. Is this it? That's it, the little bird gasped. How did you do that? I'm a good listener, said Dirt. Red house, square front, round hole, green slanted roof. Wait just one minute, said Sugar. Describe this house napper again. This time I want details. Well, he's short, yellow, and kind of fuzzy, said the little bird. Hmm, said Sugar. Anything else? A tattoo, a limp, a dangerous looking scar? I don't remember any scars or tattoos, said the little bird. Dirt showed her a sketch. Not quite, said the little bird. His head is weird. It looks like an egg. Dirt adjusted the sketch. Not quite, said the little bird. His eyes are more round. Dirt adjusted the sketch again. Closer, said the little bird. He's got two orange feathers sticking out at the top of his lumpy head. They're about two feet long. Inches, kid, inches, snapped Sugar. Dirt adjusted the sketch again. Hmm. That's him, screamed the little bird. You did it. That's the egg-headed bird who stole my house. Oh, brother, said Dirt. She passed the sketch to Sugar. Oh, brother, said Sugar. That's no egg-headed little bird, said Dirt. It isn't, asked the little bird. That, madam, said Dirt and Sugar, is our brother. Oh, brother, said the little bird. You can say that again, said Sugar. Oh, brother. Knock that off, kid, said Sugar. All right, friends, that's all for today. So join me back next time and we'll see what happens next. See ya.